you know, last year you went to Elite 11. So you got to see some of the top quarterbacks in the country. So talk about how that experience kind of was. What stood out to you? What were some guys that just, you know, were just off the charts, kind of, you know, knocked off a lot of boxes for you? Um, I mean, all these – it's crazy because, like, you you go to this Elite 11 and there's – I believe there was 20, 25 quarterbacks. All of them are good. Like, you go and you're like, man, th these guys are above anything I've ever seen. Like, we see guys on a regular basis in Georgia. We're just blessed because we have a lot of good football players in the state of Georgia that we get kind of, you know, we get kind of spoiled, spoiled I would say, because we can look up and see Aaron Nolan and him and you know, him doing all this great stuff. We see Juju Lewis on a regular basis do things you've never seen quarterbacks do. But, like, you go to some of these other towns some, where some of these people are from, it's like this dude was the guy in his region, and he came here, and he's the fifth best player. So, like – just seeing that part of it to me is like, oh my God, like there's some good football players. There's some good quarterbacks out here. And then also the interesting part of those camps was also you get to see the college guys as well. Like Caleb Williams was there, Michael Penix was there, Jaden Daniels was there as well. But like they all went through the drills before the high school guys. And I hear quarterbacks say they want to start in college day one all the time. And then I watched Caleb Williams go through that thing and it was perfection. Like, mm. Everything was just on point, and it was just the ball just went where it was supposed to go every like every time. And he did it with a smile on his face; he didn't break a sweat. And then I watched these high school quarterbacks go through it. They struggled a little bit early, like they didn't get it right away. So, um, I guess my point of that is there's a there's a difference between regular high school quarterbacks and these guys. But then there's also a jump between the elite college players and the uh, elite high school players. I think that was probably my biggest takeaway. Um, just some guys that probably stood out. I mean, obviously, did Julian Sam was amazing out there. Um, he's, he went, he committed to Alabama, but he signed with Alabama. He's at Ohio State now. Um, he was amazing out there. Um, Dylan Rayola was good out there. He's at Nebraska. Uh, Ryan Puglisi was really good too. Signed with Georgia. Um, Aaron, Aaron Nolan was another one. DJ Lagway was. Like seeing what he does with the football for a guy that big and athletic, I mean, this is like he's gonna be one of those that we're gonna talk about before the game even starts about how big and strong and everything it just looks like like whoa, like why is a six six guy, two hundred and forty pounds, able to flick his wrist in the ball with seventy yards and then he can run you over and then run a four or five and like he's gonna be special at the next level. Like that it's different. Like he's a little different than the other guys. So that would probably be the four or five uh no, young man, Ethan Grunk and Meyer really kind of stood out as well. He's going to stay. So these are names that nobody will know today, but in like four years, like these will be the guys battling at the top of the NFL draft. So I think that's a really cool part of my job, being able to know that.